If you are hunting trouble, lad, you found it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be doing a, uh, a showcase video. More, or excuse me, <laughs> a uh, 1v3 that's also a showcase video for the uh, the flood. So let me just put this on a uh, heroic. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> uh, <coughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm joking on something. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that intro went terribly, so this game is going to go even worse, probably. Uh, doing it on Exile, because, you know, it's the Flood map, and I'm playing as the Flood. We got uh, two random Covenant and uh, one random UNSC, so let's get right into it. <coughs> and, yeah, sorry if I cough, honey. I think I'm choking on, on water or something. <laughs> It's going to take its uh, sweet time loading, it seems like, but that's fine. Uh, you know, and, uh, about that uh, that Doom video I made, that uh, speedrun, I was thinking about trying that again, but maybe trying to get my time down to 12 or 13 minutes, because uh, I did a practice run, like, I think two or three times, and uh, on both times I got around to 14 minutes, but I don't think that's my limit. I think it's just more of me, you know, always being so cautious, you know. Yeah, you know, let's get some some uh, power and resource stocks going, and then just get get a lot of infection forms. Just get as many as you can with the resources you have right now, and uh, make them rally over here, right down here, right down here. Bring these little guys right down here. And you know, flood obviously have no announcer announcer lines or anything. Just gonna run my guy all over here, get all these resources, and queue up for that. Oh, and they can, uh, yeah, the stalker forms are actually pretty cool. They can uh, scale walls and stuff, kind of like, you know, locusts and uh, similar. So let me, uh, m let me max out my uh, flood forms, and I'll just go straight for the base. <coughs> er, no, no, I should focus on a. Uh, I should focus on resources right now. Maybe I'll build a flood launcher, though. How the flood work, uh, by the way, is that they have a high starting population, right? They're uh, really good at really good at that. Ooh. Uh, no, they can't collect resources. That, that would have been helpful if they could, though. Uh, but a uh, high starting population, and uh, how they get more population is by building new bases instead of just upgrading. They uh, don't have any special upgrade building, you know, like the temple or the uh, armory, like for UNSC and Covenant. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's uh, basically it. You know, I'll just show you the units as I build them if I decide to build different ones. You have uh, Dispersal Pods as a Tech 1 ability, which shoots some combat forms down, which aren't super effective. But depending on which ones you get, it can be really effective, actually. You know, I've had, I've had some luck with uh, getting... Stuff like Sniper Jackals that just, you know, Sniper Jackals and Zealot Flood that just absolutely just melt through everything, right? You know, cue him to go up here next. And also, yeah, Infection Forms can also, like, scramble over walls and surfaces. Let me get a Flood Launcher, which works exactly like it does in Campaign. You know, it, uh... Launches those infection balls that infect infantry. It's really, really good, actually. It's really good against, like, everything for some reason. <laughs> uh, because I don't think the flood was ever meant to be... I don't think the flood was ever meant to be balanced. I'm gonna be honest, like... Just, like, playing through this, checking it out some... I, I don't think they were ever intended to be balanced at all. Beat this man up. Beat this man up. Okay, I guess not. Uh, I remember in an earlier version... <clears throat> in an earlier version of, uh, 
leader overhaul infection forms were busted they were they were crazy powerful you could destroy entire bases with just infection forms uh because they had like a bunch of structure damage for no reason let me let me get started on uh making some more of these Yeah, yeah, just build build up an army here. I could probably win the game just by rushing with uh, infection forms. <laughs> they uh they just consume infantry, right? Okay, I'm not sure how good they're gonna do against these turrets. Probably poorly, probably poorly, I imagine. Okay, yeah, yeah, D basically just terrible, terribly. <laughs> okay, definitely used to be better than this. Ooh. Uh, yeah, and the, I obviously know those dispersal pods are not going to do anything. I just sent those down to show them off. It's just random, random infected covenant or uh, UNSC, you know. There we go, maxed out on the infector queue, and I'm just gonna have a bunch of these sort of uh, having a little conga line up here, you know. And, uh, an idea I've I've had too is uh, doing something similar to my uh oh oh I got an infected ghost out of that okay uh, so yeah that's what the uh, flood launcher can do it can also infect vehicles too which is a uh, really cool you know as long as the launcher gets the uh, the killing blow at least it can infect uh, I think low tier vehicle oh yeah another weird thing that I'm pretty sure is a glitch is that they don't have sight range. Uh, Units you infect with, uh, infect with your launchers and infect with your, uh, <coughs> excuse me, units you infect with your launchers and infect with your, uh, your infection forms, right? I've said the word infect so many times, uh, it's going to give me an infection, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they, they don't have sight range for some reason, which I'm not sure if it's if it's actually intentional or if it or if it really is just a bug or like what but uh it's kind of annoying because it, it like kind of makes them like useless like what am i supposed to do with the scouting unit that can't scout it's just gonna like die in a millisecond you know you can actually upgrade the flood resource stocks to be uh tier five which is kind of crazy or tier four excuse me and they produce resources a lot which you'll need as flood with how many units you're going to be pumping out so, you know, it makes sense at least, you know. Yeah, I'm almost near the max unit cap, that being uh, 150 for Flood. Though I think it should be probably somewhere around 100, I'm going to be honest. 150 is like... <laughs> you get a little bit too much out of it. <clears throat> you know. Let me uh, wait till I get... Let me, let me just wait till I pile on these guys. Let me try and get some uh, dispersal pods over here. Oh. Actually, actually. Go over here. Destroy. Destroy my children. <laughs> Flight of the Valkyries over here. All these little infection forms. Let me uh, screenshot that. Uh, that's a good screenshot. Uh. Eat them. Eat them. Destroy them. Infect them all. Yeah, as you can see, they're they're very good anti-infantry. They're absolutely excellent at uh, anti-infantry work, and can just chop through infantry very quickly, turn them into zombies, and you know have them be fighting for you. Which, like I said, they don't have the sight range, but if you keep them near your other units, that should not matter at all. It shouldn't matter a single bit. It's kind of a, a little bit annoying, though. Just a small bit, small bit annoying. Another uh, cool thing about Flood is that they don't need to upgrade to build the uh, base defenses. You know, you don't need to build, like, a, a bigger-sized base. You could always just have it with the uh, the stock base. Let me get some more dispersal pods. And I will show off more of the features uh, here in a minute, because, uh, you know, Flood, Flood, are pretty, Flood are pretty cool. You know, they got some cool gimmicks. I think they need some serious, like, rebalancing, though, if they ever want to be, like, something that people can actually, like, play without being looked down upon. <laughs> if, uh, 
you know, there is any type of actual multiplayer scene for this mod, which I'm not sure there is, because, you know, I'm not an expert on this. Oh, yeah, that's that's one of the really good ones you can get, is the, uh, the heavy combat form that has, uh, you know, has a fuel rod. And, uh, alright, here's the flood building beacon, which you can place anywhere on the map, right? And you can build any production facility, anything. Let me put a, uh, put a route there to defend that. Any production building flood launchers too, which are excellent against every unit in the game pretty much. And it, uh, are an easy way to rack up an army of zombies too. Uh, as flood, I feel like your playstyle should be just ex aggressive expansion. You need to like get into the enemies as much as possible. You know, do things like build flood launchers using the building beacon. It'd just be absolutely annoying. See, see, it's attacking the base. Like, if this was an actual player, they'd be so angry at me right now because of this. Like, what are you supposed to do about this thing that's outside of here? Yeah, that's funny. Let me build. And this one that's just floating off the side of the, uh, off the side of the map, yeah. A meat tube. That's all the flood launcher is, isn't it? Just like a tube of meat that shoots meatballs. These are like even more spammable than the uh, than the uh, the drop pod elites, the dispersal pods, because they recharge way quicker. I think. All right, destroy this, annihilate this, my children. Uh, you can hear the the weird flood noises. Ooh. Might be better. Yeah, after we sure this might get a, a thumbnail, yeah. We'll go to his his main base next. He will not suspect anything. Uh yeah, it's always a good idea to like stack up some uh stack up some uh flood launchers though. They're like always good to have on a base. Uh, let me just show you guys the den and then uh the nest. Which are the production buildings for them. Which are, you know, just all the stuff ripped from a uh, campaign, pretty much. You know, uh, the Uber unit for the Flood is the Abomination, which requires four power and more resources than a Scarab. And uh, yeah, it does a lot of melee damage and gives a small attack buff to nearby Flood allies. I don't know if it's just Flood allies or allies in general, but at the proto base you can build the uh, Juggernaut, which is... You know, the, the the cut juggernaut from Halo 2. It smacks things with big old tentacles, yeah. Let me check the uh, building, yeah. So there's uh, the ranged form, the tank form, and the thrasher form. The ranged form is from Halo 3, same with the tank form. And yeah, it's exactly what it says. It's, you know, a, a pure form anti-infantry, which can do a little bit against aircraft. A tank form, which is, you know, big, uh, big old melee... Has a lot of health, can do a decent amount of damage. And Thrashers, which are building killers. And, you know, function like Goliaths, basically, in this mod, which I, I don't know if you guys seen me use those, but, uh. For the air, we have, uh, Flood Swarm, which are light air, which are also from Campaign. Most of these assets are from cam Campaign. Uh, which are anti air, yeah, anti air, light air units that are basically kind of worthless against infantry. Bomber Forms, which are. Also kind of worthless. Uh, they just spit out little eggs that release infection forms. They're not particularly useful. And then the uh, cedar, which are good against anti-air and can infect air units, I think. But uh, let me you know, let me bring these guys up here. I'm going to go attack Blue's main because I don't think he has turrets anyway. Well, so yeah, I feel like they might... No, no, no. No, it's probably the same amount, but I, I feel like the, uh, the flood base might build quicker than the, uh, might build quicker than the normal bases. It feels like that, at least, or maybe it's just from the, the animation. Hey, he's got another one up here. Oh, we infected a, uh, infected a warthog, too. <laughs> See, it's neat. It, uh, replaces the driver and the gunner with, uh, infected marines. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. That's the, uh, that's the Arbiter.
Yeah, let's let's just beat this man to death with hammers, please. If you guys uh if you guys could. Yeah, you can see how easily they're actually getting wiped out by an efficient melee unit, by the way. Like dang. Ooh. They got they got stomped kinda a little bit. We get a flood launcher here though. Oh yeah, there goes my there goes my flood launcher. That's a, a tragedy. But uh, you know, it doesn't matter. It's just showing off the uh, the units. We're not really looking to win or anything. But uh, yeah, let me build some stuff then. Build a bunch of flood swarms because I can. Yeah, when these guys are uh, defeated, when they're killed, they release some infection forms, but that's not really particularly useful or anything. You know, it's just sort of a whatever feature. Which is probably the main thing that makes the, uh, the Flood Bomber so bad, is that infection forms are only really good if your enemy doesn't really pay particular attention to their infantry. And if they don't use any infantry at all, then you're not. You're, you're wasting your time. You're like... Wasting your time. These these guys just look really cool, by the way. I gotta say the uh, the actual designs for the uh, the flood units in Halo Wars, you know, that came from on Symbol Studios, the Symbol Studios, whatever. Uh, yeah, they're they're great. They're great. You know, I think they did an excellent job with these. You know, they've always been like, honestly, some of them are, uh, you know, perfect. They perfectly fit. You know, it doesn't feel like three four three where they try to like glue vaguely halo things together and call it official halo it's just like it feels like it's halo you know it feels like it belongs in halo i think my uh excuse me i think the uh, designs of the elites from halo wars are probably my favorite of uh, any elite design in the entire franchise because they they just look like you know warriors you know they're, they're like way more like chunky and built they look like they'd be better at fighting than the uh, kind of skinny, weird ones from uh, the older Halo titles at the time. You know, let me just bring bring these guys over here. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I remember I have all their uh, stuff queued. Bring bring all these fine gentlemen over here so they can uh, congregate together. Yeah, th this guy's kind of slow though, but he can climb down walls. But he is a bit slow. So you know, it's like a trade-off. It's like a fifty-fifty. That beautiful, beautiful animation of just sliding around like Michael Jackson. Increase range. Deflective skin. All right. Um, let me just yeah take these guys up here. Take these guys up here. I don't know why it selects your uh, your flood roots as a uh, unit, but I'm guessing that's just how they code them was to make them count as a unit instead of just like a building like the flood launchers or whatever. You know. Let me just get some dispersal pod back up here. Bring bring them up there. Start hitting that base again. That arbor is probably gonna get absolutely murked. Oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. Hi. Yeah, he just gets he just gets slapped. Like the the melee units go a little bit crazy for a uh, flood. They go a little bit crazy. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's great. Excellent. Uh, yeah, let me upgrade my uh, other power stock. Get the ability to launch. Yeah, I don't know if that's like uh, passive or active. I feel like active abilities are always, uh, you know, less useful than passive, which you know makes sense because you have to put like a modicum more effort into it. I, yeah, let me uh, heal these a little bit. Yeah, but the uh, juggernauts look pretty great, you know, for something that was made model during uh, Halo 2. I think they look pretty good. Get some more dispersal. Yeah, th this is like the real strength of uh, of Flood, though. It's just the fact they can do all of this collateral by just dropping in random stuff out of nowhere. You can't really do much about. It's just like being as annoying as possible. Check out yeah, most of those guys alive. So let me get some more, uh, some more Flood Swarm here. 
and then uh, build an abomination, try to show off the abomination. Let me take out Blue, so I don't really like that guy uh, existing in my peripheral vision, you know. Thrasher is, like, really slow. I think the Thrasher and the, the ranged are genuinely, like, the slowest in the whole army. I expected the uh, the tank form to be slower, but no, he's actually decently fast. So let me uh, build an abomination here. I'll be able to show, you, show that off to you guys. We got some uh, backup flood swarm coming over here too. And a change that's also really general, like balancing change. It's also really helpful that I think leader overhaul, excuse me, leader overhaul added, is that uh, when you're attacking a covenant base, it cannot regenerate its shields, so you don't need to destroy the shield generator as long as you're attacking the base. Which I'm pretty sure it wasn't like that in the. Uh, or, you know, vanilla Halo Wars. Like, you actually had to destroy the shield generator if you didn't want the shields to come back, which I always thought was a very annoying feature. <laughs> because, like, you know, why? if it worked like any other shield, why would it be attacked if the uh, the main host is still getting hit, you know? It was, like, inconsistent with the, uh, the rest of the shields that we've seen in Halo. On top of just being, like, annoying gameplay-wise, too. All right, uh, that base just got annihilated. I'm gonna wait for that. Uh, wait for that abomination to get done cooking, so I can show it off to you guys. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Supply pad upgraded. Dang, but uh, yeah, this large colony right here. You can only build one of these at a time. And uh, yeah, here's the uh, here's the abomination, the uh, Uber unit. You know, ripped straight from Halo Wars 2. I don't know, it looks a little bit less polished than it was in that game, but I'm guessing just because, the, you know, this lacks the, the shaders and things of Halo Wars 1. Oh, oh yeah, there's a enemy yellow just on my base. Not on my base, on their base. This is going to, like, insta-kill everything here. Yep. <laughs> oh, they didn't see that coming. Poor bastards. Yeah, it's like, it basically one or two shots everything that isn't a scarab. I, I don't even know what they just destroyed, but they just destroyed something, so uh, good job, boys. Excellent work. Excellent work, man. Oh, here we go. They're trying to build, build a base in our, our lawn. You know what? No, ignore him. Leave him. Destroy this. I want blue out of the game. He can't build anything anyway. He's got, he's uh, got no tech, I think. Unless he builds another base. Destroy this tank. Let me build some more, uh, some more flood swarm. I think they're one, generally like one of the best uh, units in the game in general. Generally, general in general, yeah. That tends to be what in general means. I don't know why I'm saying that. Oh no, you're sabotaging. Ah, oh, cheeky. ODSC, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna help him. Yeah, that's player AI5 dead. Uh, he had the second highest score behind his uh, yellow on his team, at least. Which, yeah, let me let me build some more uh, juggernauts actually. Yeah, do some research on them. Yeah, I heard air pad complete, so let me get some more swarm. build another colony here. If there's another base here, I can just take it out. The, uh, the Y ability is, like, mega powerful. Like, I think it takes three or four of these, and you kill a, you kill a scarab. 
but you're also very vulnerable being like super slow in a melee only unit with not that much range, admittedly, you know. You know, and just no hit that first. Yeah, he does a, a massive ton of damage to buildings, which you can clearly see with this reactor, which I think is one of the strongest buildings next to the uh, Covenant Temple, health-wise at least. And he just absolutely chops through, uh, just absolutely chops through uh, buildings. <laughs> Did like almost half the health of that, of the entire base, just with the Y ability. And he uh, rebuilt his Jerome, and I'm guessing he's sending him back there to uh, avenge his people. But that's not really going to help him much, either, you know. And yeah, they have uh, access to uh, health regeneration for some reason, which I always thought was uh, really weird. But I guess, I'm guessing it's just a, a placeholder, you know. Although it is useful, you know, it's, also, it's always useful. They don't really have any other way to uh, regenerate health or anything. Wait till I can build a new one, then I can go attack this base. Yeah, it's like really easy though to uh, just lock down like an entire section of the map with flood launchers and using a uh, grave mine's reach. Uh, flood launchers get progressively more expensive as you buy more though, so uh, you might not want to spam them too much. Or you're going to be out of money. I got a whole oh, flight of the Valkyries over here. Whew. Yeah, look at this beautiful, beautiful nature. Birds, aren't birds so beautiful? Oh yeah, yeah. He, I think he one he one taps turrets. The uh, abomination you can just, just annihilate turrets. And uh, th that was the last upgrade for the uh, the juggernaut. They only have two, which is kind of sad. I, I think it would be fun if they maybe had like, uh, you know, something else. I feel like. Uh, Every unit that isn't an uber unit should bare minimum have like three upgrades. I I don't think any any unit should be like uh, left out like that. Yeah, and the uh, the flood swarm is just tearing these turrets apart too, you know, before it even gets to them. Which is like their biggest strength probably, so that they do uh, automatic weapon damage. And uh, are in such massive numbers, you know. Yeah, I'm guessing that's their scout looking for a new base spot because they're about to be mangled. Oh yeah, these are also really good too. The uh, sniper marine infected. Yeah, that's that's the type of RNG you want. You don't want the you don't want the plasma pistol grunts. You don't want the assault rifle infected. You want the snipers and the flamers and the uh, focus rifle. Etc. Get some of these peons healed. They actually have a decent amount of health, so it's not really going to be healing them much. The uh, the heal ring, at least. Actually got the uh, the range form up to veteran C1. So uh, good job, Grandpa. Good job. You know. Let me uh, check on the upgrades to this. Yeah, yeah, they uh, only have two. Well, was that actually two or three? Excuse me. Uh, yeah, you know, it doesn't matter much. I'm just uh, forgetting in the middle of the game. <laughs> Let me uh, check the time. 26. That's good. No, I don't need to worry about this. Which, yeah, if you guys didn't know, they obviously can't. Flood can't infect other Flood, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. So that doesn't really happen or anything. Oh, ooh, secret base, huh? I'll, uh, I'll take that then. You know, I'll take that away from you. He doesn't have his tech anyway, so he, like, can't build anything. Yeah, you know, even on a Legendary, I think it takes the AI, like, if, um, maybe a whole minute or two to actually get their tech back after it gets destroyed. Because uh, they literally just can't produce, like, you know, tech units at all without it. A 
yeah, you can fill up this uh, 150 unit cap pretty quick just by spamming uh, dispersal pods. Which I think is why they made it three pop costs anyways, uh, because of that exact thing. I'm desperately looking around for a base spawn. He's just not going to find one. He might build one up here. But, you know, you can't really stop the swarm. Can't really stop the swarm at all. Oh. Oh, what is this? Yeah, he's going to use all of his resources on that beam before the, uh, the main party even gets here. <laughs> Yep. Mm. So much for the mighty covenant, huh? Yeah, they they don't really stand much of a chance. They're just getting absolutely just swarmed right now. Even if I am taking heavy losses. Put it right in his turret slides. <laughs> Let me build some more. Uh... Yeah, the flood root aren't very good, though, I'm going to say, as a uh, base defense. Especially if you're playing against an actual player and he knows how to micro. You're not really going to have much luck with the uh, the flood route, I feel like. Yeah, the uh, the abomination buff though goes kind of crazy. Like they're doing they're doing a lot of damage. <laughs> oh yeah, oh. You wanted to build some more stuff here. No, I'm not I'm not going to let that happen. Put some more dispersal pods. I just got grinded into dust. Destroy that temple before he rebuilds his profit because that beam was kind of a effective against my flood, which I think is an intentional design decision. You know, I think that's like intentional balancing. Do I have fire do like a lot more damage? Actually, it's good they're sending out all this uh, all this random stuff though, because just, that's just gonna be free uh, free veteran C for my units. Yeah, uh, veteran C three flood swarms. I've only gotten them once, but ooh, they, they are they are something, man. Like genuinely, like one of the best air units. Which yeah, I'm kind of sad. Air infantry is a concept. Uh, let me let me check. Yeah, it's only yellow left. Kind of sad. Air infantry as a concept didn't really make it into the uh, the final game. If you guys didn't know, uh, they're gonna put an elite ranger, you know, the ones from Halo 2 with jetpacks, in the game as uh, the Arbiter special unit. But then they switched it out late into development for the Suicide Grunt. And uh, yeah, the only way people figured that out was because the animator who animated that. Uh, you know, I, I might have his might have his channel in the description if I remember to. Yeah, he, he's a really talented animator, by the way, because he put it up on his uh, YouTube channel as a part of his resume stuff. You know, or just like showing off, whatever, whatever it was. But uh, yeah, point being, that was really cool. You know, I, I think they should have done that, and I think it would have been a, a more unique, probably more useful unit than the Suicide Grunt. Either either have it as the Arbiter special or the uh, the Prophet special because I'm I, I think the Elite Honor Guard is probably pretty useless. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not I don't I don't really like feel strongly about its its usefulness, which I uh, talked about in a canceled uh, scrapped Halo Wars tier list that I recorded at like 4 a.m. once, and uh yeah deleted because I realized it was really crappy the next day because I was super sleepy. I will try to redo that, though, because I really do want to talk about the uh, units in Leader Overhaul in the form of a tier list, maybe. Uh, I mean, I might just do it with uh, Vanilla Halo Wars, but I think since 
somebody like Turn Up already did Vanilla Halo Wars, I might as well just take the jump into the deep end and uh, do a sort of ranking. Do a sort of ranking with the uh, the leader overhaul stuff. Put a Grave Mines Reach down here. Yeah, they're just getting like chopped up by my uh, my swarm right now. Whew. Yeah, I'd rather that flood launcher actually uh, zombify some of those guys. You know, that'd be be helpful. It, it doesn't release the uh, the cloud of gas like it does in campaign, but it's still pretty useful at uh, turning people to zombies. Yeah, this is just like so broken. You can just like put down like five of these next to somebody's base. No, three of these next to somebody's base, and like they just <laughs> they just can't do anything. Like, all right, let me let me bring these guys out a little bit. Right, uh, just to illustrate how much you can really do with the flood launcher, show you guys how much damage they can do by themselves, and have them destroy this uh, this final base by themselves, pretty much. You know, have my units at least uh, deal with these guys at the very minimum. build another one let me build another one yeah <laughs> i mean just surround this guy's base in a flood stuff you know what can you do about it nothing you know i don't think uh yeah i don't think they program the route to uh hit buildings though yeah yeah they they can't hit buildings which you know makes sense because why would they program for that when would that interaction ever happen but maybe it's something they'll add into future versions of leader overhaul Although it would be kind of uh, nasty and overpowered if they, if you could put it right next to a base, kind of like the uh, the flood beacons right here. Check the time, 35. Okay, We're making good time, yeah. You know, I want this video to be under an hour so I can get it uploaded before 2 a.m. because it's about 10:30 right now. You know, uh, it's gonna take me about an hour to uh, an hour to edit and then re-record this because I have to like screen record as a part of my editing process because I'm, I'm no I'm not paying for a full version of Fulmore. I uh, no thank you I I do not have the uh, $500 required for a license I don't know about you guys but uh, not me personally you know oh oh I almost got the beacon on there that would have been nasty okay there we go <laughs> no it's occupying the same space as a building oh that's gross. That's just something you can do. Yeah, look at it though. It's just tearing this base apart. But uh, all right, yeah, yeah, you guys got the point. So let's just move my uh my guys over here. Finish these dudes off. Whole map is just covered in flood. Whole map is covered in all kinds of flood. And uh, yeah, maybe I could take another uh, take another thumbnail. And yeah, yeah, I'm sorry I'm so obsessive about the thumbnails. I just, I just want it to be, like, perfect. You know, not even looking for clips, just, like, on a visual... Excuse me, not looking for clicks. Just, like, on a visual level, I want it to be appealing to look at. Come on. There we go. Yeah, but just build, build everything all over. Yeah, it's currents for them. That's currents for them. Let me go uh, send, send some stuff over there preemptively. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's basically the gist of the flood. Uh, thank you for suggesting a video about this uh, random guy in the comments who I will probably maybe put a screenshot of up on the screen if I remember to. Uh, but yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. I mean, I just look over the stats. 
didn't really get that high of a score, but, you know, meh. One combat efficiency, which, yes, you will always have, is the Flood. And you're always going to lose, like, a 300 units, too. <laughs> because half of those were just the infection forms from earlier, because it counts an individual, like, model of a soldier as a unit. As its own unit. And the same thing happens when, uh, they get infected by the Flood, too. If you guys didn't know. It counts them as a single unit, but, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, leave your suggestions in the comments if you want to see me do any wacky challenges or anything. Yeah, I remember you used to be able to make... No, no, you can make the, uh, the stuff like the zombie squads from uh, the Flood Din that you place with the building beacon, not with the regular one, which I think they probably need to change to make it either to where you can do it with the regular one too, or you can only produce spear forms with both. Either or, just for the sake of consistency. But hey, you know, I'm not a mod dev. What do I know? Alright, then, uh, I'll see you guys, uh, next time.